What's up, guys? I'm James from Thousand Below and hanging out with Rob from Front Row Live. You just uh, kicked off this new tour. Yeah. Um, you guys are currently touring the second single off yep. of the upcoming record. Like, um, what's that like so far? Like, as you guys are prepping for that new tour. It's cool. We're pretty excited to see people like saying nice things about the new music. You know what I mean? Even though it's like a little bit different, but uh, we've got like positive reactions and stuff. I mean, tour's been on right now for a total of two hours, so <laughs> so we're still like settling in and stuff. But yeah, things are going good as usual. Life is good. Now it's cool because it seems like you guys have been on tour for the last like six, seven months. Like it's been like bouncing from one we tour were to doing another. Like two, like a month on, two, month and a half off, month on, month and a half off. Which I like that schedule a lot. We're trying to like yeah. keep up on that and stuff. But um, yeah, I don't know what winter looks like for us right now. But as of right now, like we have nothing set in stone after this. So right. we'll see. Yeah. You know? So let's talk about this upcoming sophomore album. You kind of challenge yourself on this record because yeah. you you did a little bit more singing you kind of learned or you taught yourself how to sing a little more yeah. um, you know how challenging was that for you and like you, you know how did you kind of go through that process um, I don't know it's, it's tough because I'm like the newest person to my instrument if that makes sense like I started mm -hmm. singing once this band got started yeah so we show up on every tour and I'm always like the least experienced singer and stuff <laughs> like that you know like I've been screaming forever but clean yeah. singing is a whole different thing right took a bunch of lessons like kind of like polished my voice off a bit like figured out like how to control it in the right way that works for me, you know, not just the way that I want it to work. And, yeah. and that's a huge thing. You kind of have to like accept what you have going right. and work with it that way. So we wrote the songs this time around my voice rather than trying to write the clean vocals like around the key of the song as it was before. So we found all the keys that like my songs, or excuse me, my voice works in and wrote the songs around that. And it just sounds way more like, it just sounds more comfortable, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, like when you revisit your your first record or any songs before that like do you feel like you're constantly changing the way that you sing it now now that you've kind of discovered this new this new way of singing it's a bit it's like more proper now like on the first record it was just all like emotion push and like kind of yelling and stuff like in syncing me and like yeah. just like yell singing but that's not like the right way you like damage your voice that way so i had to like relearn i guess right. but yeah yeah we, we figured it out it's a good like like situation we have now now, I feel like, you know, bands today, like, they wait till the third album um, to kind of start experimenting new sounds and stuff like that. You guys jumped into on the second record. Yeah. Um, you know, what was the idea behind, like, trying to experiment now um, instead of, like, waiting for another album or two? Well, um, so one of our guitarists left the band, and he was always the kind of guy, he was the dude, like, sort of pushing things to keep things more heavy. <laughs> and um, we obviously didn't want to completely abandon that aspect right. but um we decided we were like we're gonna do every record different like everyone's gonna sound different you know the first one's like traditionally a little bit more like he heavy more like emotional a lot more leads this one we're like let's do a lot more like emotional electronic vibey stuff and um just make it like a little bit softer more accessible just to show like we want a diverse catalog we want like yeah. all types of music we want like any type of music listener to pull up our like our album and click through it and find a couple things that they like not just right traditionally people that only like heavy stuff right so um e every record is going to be different from here on forward like just because this one's like softer than the last one doesn't mean that the next one won't be heavier like it's literally whatever we're feeling when we go into the studio so yeah. we just kind of did what we felt was right and um there are like some heavier songs on there uh, on there obviously we want to show that like we still care about like the original sound that we've been vibing with but we also tried a bunch of new things there's uh, so much like like new sounds on there people are gonna be like what the hell like, yeah. <laughs> like i don't i don't know i hope people aren't pissed but but i i love the record like i i'm way more proud of it than i was of the love you had too close like that album's cool it means a lot to me but like in terms of like musicianship like and how i performed on it i mm. i like the new one better personally right. but yeah now as you guys experimented with new sounds like what was the most unique way of kind of creating these sounds uh for you guys in the studio um also so this time around we actually like worked with real like producers, if that makes sense, people yeah. that I've been working with, like a lot of bands. We worked with Zach Jones and and this guy named KJ. I think Josh Strock is his real name. Um, we just call him KJ. He worked under Drew Folk for a while, okay. and uh, they just know a lot of things. And then we also did a song with Eric Ron that was Chemicals, oh, nice. just to like we wanted some like like we, like we've the the too close. We just recorded in San Diego with our friends, so we've yeah. shown that like we can write songs without getting like outside help. But this time we were like, oh, let's. Let's have some other like minds on this, you know, and see like how weird we can get and what other weird shit we can go on. And sometimes like you need that extra like mind to sort of tell you like, hey, you guys can do this. You know, don't be scared to go here. Don't be scared to do this. Don't be right. scared to like, you know, stick to your old ways. So I don't know. I think it's healthy. And that's a thing we kind of employed. But yeah, we definitely like 
since we lost like a guitarist we were like yo let's try and fill a lot of that void with something different rather than like making up for something that isn't going to be there right um but yeah so that was the idea now do you see any similarities with these new producers compared to like back in the day when you recorded with sebastian <laughs> there's no <laughs> sebastian's like a really different person he's like he's really cool very unique brain love him to death but he's like he doesn't work the his brain doesn't work the same way that those people work and neither way is better or worse we just yeah. again like i said we want to do every right. single thing different like the next album that we do i think we're going to do it like half with the producers and like half completely on our own like yeah. no other, like literally like no other outside opinions um just to keep things like fresh that way but again that's like our way of keeping it interesting you right. know what i mean now out of all these producers that you guys brought into this new record like which one do you feel like kind of challenged you the most uh on the creative process eric ron for sure i was hoping you'd say that yeah he's like <laughs> he's like uh he like brings out the absolute best in you yeah. and his, he doesn't like once you start working he does not slow down for one second it's constant like come on man keep going like you can do that and then like he's also like in, and in such a good way like i don't mean this negatively at all but he's really like harsh on you and not harsh so just like he knows you can do better yeah exactly like he, if you can do the take like one percent better and he knows it he like will not settle and he'll yeah. just be like keep going keep going and he'll like tell you like like that was wrong and i'm like oh well i was trying to I'm like i don't care what you were trying to do like do the, do what i said and i'm just, and it's just like and it got like the best performance out of me which was fucking sick. That's sick and so i was like holy crap i've never had anyone like like cracking the whip at me in the studio you know but like all the other times it's literally just been like how's that do you like it <laughs> yeah sure cool all right like like you know and eric he's whoops, like and it, and it comes out fire like so i was like we're definitely trying to go back to that man like yeah. he's just he's brought out to. He like brought out like a new side of me that I didn't like know was there in right. in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, how do you how does that how, you know the first time that he tells you like do this or do that, you don't know the guy. Like how do you actually like kind of like learn to be okay with that? I just like uh, I mean, I'm one of those people that like I I'm like a chameleon. Like I like whatever situation I get put in, yeah. I act that way. If I get put in like a very lax scenario, I'm going to be very lax. If I get put in like a high octane, like intense, like I'm going to be like holy shit, I'll rise to the occasion every right. time. Um but yeah. Now, did it did it help at all with the vocals or was yeah, it oh just yeah, no, really we, so chemical me and him wrote like together nice, like okay. um so we brought we brought in like four instrumental ideas like essentially like minute long song clips and we were like yo which of this do you like because we wanted to just do like one single with him pardon me and uh and we we're like which one do you like he chose the one that like ended up like being chemical yeah and then he you know we just like banged out the instrumental really quick i don't do any of the instrumental stuff that was like the josh's and him yeah and then I was like, all right, vocals. And I went in there. He's like, all right, like, what's this song about? Like, I said it. Wrote a couple lines. And he was like, all right. And hit me and him just, like, hummed things back and forth over the instrumental. And it came together. And, like, we did the song in two days. Like, it was very, it was a swift, uh, swift operation, honestly. But, uh, yeah, he works great. He's, that dude, like, that man is a machine. He knows how to make good-ass music. And he knows how to do it quick. And he knows how to get, like, the best out of you. And just, like, no bullshit. Like, just handle business. I right. fuck with it heavily. Um, but, yeah, I think, but then again, there is definitely, like, some merit to the other side of songwriting where you're literally like just sitting there in your room you have all the time in the world you don't have to rush it out but then also like if you're in that high octane environment in the nice studio with someone like as talented as eric telling you it, it gets a good song out of you every yeah. time so i like both i like both vibes and i think that's what we're gonna do on the like our third record yeah. down the line we're gonna do it half on our own and then half with people being like cracking the whip on us yeah, you know yeah. what i mean um it's just healthy that way how do you feel like, you know, working with producers this time around has impacted or influenced the way that you write your music now? Um, I mean, it, like getting the outside help is always interesting because you kind of have to humble yourself a bit because you're kind of like, oh, this goes from being like the songs are 100 percent my idea. Mm. Like they were on Love You Too Close. To like now they're only like 75 percent my idea, you know, but that's how everything is. Like every good artist in the whole world has gotten some producers help. And it's important because. When you're in a band or you are the artist, you just get stuck in this, like, it's like a cloud. It's like a big clouds over you. Yeah. And you can't see out of being in the band. You know what I mean? You can't see out of, like, being the, own, being the artist. You can't see that. Right. So you need, like, an outside perspective to tell you, like, yo, I know how you think it looks down there, but trust me, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not in this project and I see how, you know what I mean? You get, you get like, a convoluted view when you're, like, in the band. So we need that. It's good for us. Now, what was the biggest challenge with this record? Like, what, what track kind of took you guys the longest either to create or, like, whether it was production, whether it was lyrics. It was just how long we had to do it. So for whatever reason, like, we budgeted everything out. We were like, yeah, we can fucking do this in three weeks, which is literally the dumbest fucking thing we've ever done as a band. Like, I literally, like, granted, it, like I said, it got us working, you know? Like, we had to, like, bang this stuff out. And I'm not saying any of the songs were rushed or whatever. We did everything, like, perfectly. And we did add, like, an extra week on the end. So I did, like, an extra, like, 
uh, five days of vocals. I like needed more time. Right. It's three weeks is it's just too short. And then we did the two days with Eric because we wanted like a more like song that was more octane radio friendly because we didn't have that before. And I was like, oh, why not like, you know, I was talking with um, the like the the CEO of Rise. I was like, hey, I kind of want to break into this. Like, can we go do a, one more song to get into that? And he, he was obviously excited about us wanting to do that. So yeah. he was like, yeah, get in there. So we took. It was, like, scheduled for three weeks, which fucking stressed us out so much. And at the end, I kind of just was like, guys, this is not happening in three weeks. Like, we need another week. Like, it, you can't write a good fucking album in yeah, three you weeks. Can't you, you can't write and record it. And, like, you know, we had a lot of stuff coming into the studio, but you're still writing while you're in the studio, whether, yeah. you know, n whether anyone wants to admit that or not. Everyone is. You're in there writing. You're changing things. So that definitely. Oh, and then we got an Airbnb, and it had, like, multiple rooms. Like, we all had, like, our own room, but there was no doors which was really weird it was like a studio slash house yeah. so like we just like when things got too heated we didn't really have a lot of like hide from each other time so it literally got to the point where like two weeks in i was literally leaving the studio at night and driving all the way home back to my house in san diego to, so so i could write in my studio at my house just to have yeah. like space because shit was so heated with all of us like with how fast we had to do everything I was like we were kind of fighting a bit and it was it was just in, it was intense so yeah. i just knew, so i was like i need the fucking space get out of the studio at like 10 drive down to my house get in there at 12 right till like three or four in the morning and then come back up at like in the you know <laughs> who fucking knows when like whenever i wake up um but yeah so that was kind of stressful but then it are back in the van for yeah. another tour <laughs> yeah no it was like the second it was done as soon as it was done everything was fine but in the middle yeah. of it we were kind of like it was intense it was yeah it was what shit happens well are you happy with the record that's yeah, the ultimate no, question that's, that's what i'm saying it was yeah. completely worth it everyone is agrees like that we did it in the right way but it was the first time like like in the first album the first four songs we wrote we didn't have a record deal at the time so mm. it was literally like we were just writing some songs we had as much time as we wanted we took our we like, yeah you know we'll do this tomorrow i'll do that and it was like right. and then i just came back and said like oh okay and like we want to get involved they got involved they gave us budget for recording more music and so we went back in and we still had a bunch of time sebastian is like obviously much cheaper than these than other people because right. he's just like like a producer in san diego he hasn't really like broken into like the mainstream writing world right. yet you know um so we had a lot of time just like post up with him we took our time and just vibed it out and did whatever we wanted to do this time we, we had a deadline which was fucking weird man it was like way too small of a deadline and <laughs> i knew when like when they when we had like the like when we had the deadline set I knew it wasn't going to be done in three weeks. I yeah. knew we needed one more week. There needed to be an extra, like, four to five days of locals or something. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and then at the end, we didn't have that, like, radio song, so we went with Eric Ron and we chopped a song from the other batch, which, God, I'm so happy that song was not on the album. That song <laughs> fucking sucked. <laughs> that song was bad, dude. That song was shit. Like, that was, what I mean, like, I guess, like, oh, the rest of it was literally fire, but, again, because yeah. we were rushing it, there was one bad song, and yeah, yeah. Um, it did get chopped out, so... Yeah. Sick, dude. Well, I can't wait for the record. Uh, drops October 11th. What the, what's the name of the what's the title of the record? It's called Gone in Your Wake. Okay. Yeah. All right. So fans can expect that October 11th. You guys are just kicking off your tour right now with the Mice and Men. Uh, you guys be sure to check out Thousand Below. Thanks for watching on Front Row Live.